Hello there, it's Rob Moore here from the AlgoKit development team. And in this video, I'm going to walk through some new functionality that has landed in AlgoKit this week. And that is on the right hand side of this diagram here. So we've added in some continuous integration and continuous deployment templates. And the idea here is to make it even easier to build quality into the software development process of people that are building solutions using AlgoKit on the Algorand blockchain. So to demonstrate this, we're going to dive into the command line and we're going to use our trusty AlgoKit init command. And in this case, the new templates that we've added a part of the beaker underscore production template. So I'm going to call this one CICD and I'm going to put my name in here. And I'm just going to use all of the default options for this one. And so I'm just going to hit enter through all of these. Now the exciting new option is this one here, do you want to include GitHub Actions workflows for build and testnet deployment? So we're going to select yes for that one as well. I'm going to let it bootstrap so that it will be able to run immediately on my computer. So this is now going to install all of my Python dependencies using poetry for me. And now that it has installed all of the dependencies, it's just asking me whether or not I want to initialize a Git repository. So again, I'm gonna choose the default option in this case, which is yes. Now this automatically opened up Visual Studio Code for me because it detected that Visual Studio Code is installed on my computer. And it's automatically opened the readme.md file. Now. The existing functionality that we had where we can immediately press F5 as soon as this opens on any operating system and then it's automatically going to do things like as you can see here call AlgoKit local net start to start my local net and then run the build of the smart contract and the deployment of the smart contract with breakpoint debugging attached as you can see here. Now, in this case, it didn't actually do anything because I've previously run this on my computer and it's detected that there's no code changes for this smart contract. And so there's nothing to do, which in itself is actually a really nice demonstration of the item potent deploy logic that we've got within the AlgoKit default experience here. But the two things that I wanted to show first and foremost, we've actually integrated automated tests into the template. So that was one of the options that I could select whether or not I wanted to have my tests with PyTest in there. So in this case, you can see that we've run that there. And if I open the Python test log, we can see the output here that this test passed. And we can see that what this one actually ended up doing was calling the hello method on our smart contract passed in world, checked that the ABI return value was hello comma world, which is what we expected. And in fact, if I break this and change it, then I can rerun that test and see that it breaks, as we can see there. So I'm gonna undo that change I just made. Now, what we can do from here is then show the exciting new CICD. The CICD is output as GitHub Actions. In the future, we're happy to accept community contributions for other CICD tools, but we felt like GitHub Actions was a really nice starting point. And so we've got two key pipelines in there, one of them that happens on pull request, and then one of them that happens on a push to the main branch of the repository. Both of them will run this checks workflow here. The checks workflow will do things like audit dependencies with pip audit, 
check that the formatting of all the files is okay according to black, check the linting is okay according to rough, check the types are okay according to MyPy. So these are all things that help us build quality in. It'll run the automated unit tests that we just saw. It will do our output stability tests to make sure that the smart contract output is what we expect it to be based on what's been committed into source control. And then it'll actually make sure that we can deploy against local net on that build agent as well. And then once the check is finished on a push to main, essentially we've got a deploy to test net set of steps that are in here that will actually deploy the smart contract to test net for us. So all we need to do here because we've run this is to basically commit the files that have been output from building our smart contract. We deliberately don't do this for you out of the box because we want to help developers fall into the pit of success of understanding that to get output stability right, you're actually explicitly making a commit and checking that you're happy that the output is what you expect it to be. So if we add all of these in there and then we commit these files, um, we're basically ready to push this up to a GitHub repository. Now to do that, we're going to go back into the web browser here and we are going to create a new repository. So I'm just going to call it AlgoKit CICD test. Um, I'm just going to make this one a public repository and I'm going to create it. I'm just going to grab the clone URL here. I'm just going to open VS Code again and we're just going to do a git push and first of course we're going to add a remote so I'm just going to pop that URL in there and call the remote origin as is the normal convention and now we can just do a git push and because there's no branch on that repository because it's empty we're going to say okay create a main branch on that remote repository so that's now pushing my code up that's finished if I come back here and refresh the page we can see that this code has now been pushed up and you know we've got our readme.md file here and if we scroll down all of these steps I'm going through are actually in the default readme that got omitted and this will actually tell you that there's a step that I haven't done yet that we need to add a mnemonic for the deployer so we'll get to that in a second in the meantime if we go to the actions tab we can see here that we've actually got the check running for the push to main and we can see it's installing algo kit it's starting local net all of these other steps that are happening here so once that's finished we can see that all of the steps that we ran through before have completed and the next part in the chain is the deployment to testnet but of course this fails because the deployer mnemonic has not been specified as i mentioned before so to specify this, what we need to do is to create a new account, to fund it with testnet algos, and then to provide that secret into the GitHub repository. Now to create an account, you can do it in any way that you would normally create an Algorand account. If we wanna quickly just do one using the command line, we can go back to VS Code. We can start a new AlgoD console on our local net using algo kit local net console. We can then use the goal command line to create a new account. So we can go goal account new, and we just need to specify the wallet in KMD that this account should be put into. And in this case, if we want, we can use the unencrypted default wallet which is the one that comes with KMD. Now, in this case, we've created a new account with this address, so we're just gonna copy that value. And what we now need to do is to just export it. So we can go goal account export dash A with the address, and then just dash W with the, again, unencrypted default wallet. And helpfully, here we go. We've got a mnemonic here for this 
account. Now, a note of caution, if you're going to be generating this account for mainnet, then this is probably not the way that I would do it because storing the account on your local KMD, probably not secure for a mainnet account, but for a testnet account, it's fine. So what we need to do first and foremost is to enter this mnemonic into our GitHub. So let's go back to GitHub. We need to call this secret deployer underscore mnemonic. So if we go into settings, we go into environments, we go into the test environment that should be here and we click add secret. We can type in deployer underscore mnemonic and we can paste in our secret value there. So this will actually work now. However, right now that account that we created in testnet doesn't have any algos in it, so it'll actually fail. So what we need to do is to just grab our account address again, and we just need to go to the Algorand testnet dispenser. So we can go to bank.testnet.algorand.network. We can pass the capture. We can paste in our address, click dispense, and then we get the algos deposited to that account. So if we go back to GitHub and we click on the most recent action and we rerun failed jobs, then this will rerun our testnet deployment. So we can click through into that to see the logs as it runs. And so we can see here it's installing AlgoKit. It's bootstrapping dependencies and then deploying to testnet. And we can see here it's showing that the Hello World app is not found. It deployed the version successfully. And we've got our app ID here and our transaction ID here. And in fact, if we open it back up again, we can see that it even then called that app and received Hello Comma World. So it's really exciting. We've had a continuous integration, continuous delivery pipeline set up for us automatically based on the template that ships within AlgoKit.